Hey everyone! Today I want to show you a stitch that I've been using for a couple of projects I've made lately. You may have seen them on my Instagram. And it's called the Wrapped Double Crochet. And this is the most recent one that I finished yesterday, which I'm probably going to put some fringe on here. Uh, but I've alternated just regular double crochet here. And then these are the wrapped double crochet rows here. The one with the space. And then I've done it also with this Ruana. So I've got alternating some half double crochets in here, but this is the wrap double crochet the way it looks and I'll put pictures of what they look like on um, somewhere in here. Okay so I've worked up a little scrap of something in my favorite color. Some green. So what I've got here is a row of double crochet and then come back up. I start my first row with just you know, chain two, put the double crochet in, and then I start wrapping. So a wrap double crochet counts as two stitches. So you'll skip one, do your wrap double crochet, skip one, then do the next. And I'm going to show you across this row how to do that. So do like you're going to do your double crochet, which you're going to do one. So I'm skipping this next stitch going into the one after that, the whole stitch. I'm doing my double crochet. Then wrap again like you're about to double crochet again. Go behind the stitch you just made, the double crochet, the post. It's like doing a back post. And then finish out the double crochet. So this has made two stitches. The first double crochet, there's the one we skipped, and the wrapped one. Let's do it again. Skip, go into the next stitch, make the double crochet, whoops, see, skip space, wrap again, go behind, and then pull through, just like a regular double crochet. Wrap, skip one, through. This works up very quickly. Again, we're going to go behind it, finish the stitch, and again. See the pattern developing? Wrap, skip, go through, do the double crochet, again behind, come up, finish the stitch. Oops. And that's what it looks like. It's a decorative stitch and it adds a little bit of airiness but still gives some substance to whatever it is you're making. It's really great for garments and blankets. So yeah, I like it. I hope this helps and I would love to see anything that you make with it. You can check out my Instagram, it is linked below, and I will link this hook. This is a lightweight plastic clover hook, and this is Red Heart Soft Yarn in Guacamole.